What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I am getting rid of deeply embedded buildup from my son's 3 year old 2 strand twist star locks. So let's get into it. Now to be honest, at the point of recording this video, I was quite shocked at the state of my son's locks. But I also understand why his locks had got to this point and with that I wanted to take this time to highlight the importance of staying on top of your regular lock maintenance schedule, even when life gets very hectic and overwhelming. So for those who assume having locks is a low maintenance hairstyle, this video should serve as a reminder of the results you could face when you neglect your regular lock maintenance routine. But to clarify, although LUX isn't low maintenance, it is indeed a low manipulation hairstyle as you're not always having to style your hair on a regular basis, causing constant tension. And that's why I think people mistake LUX as a low maintenance hairstyle when in fact it is a low manipulation hairstyle. However, to tackle the buildup in his locks, I will be using this pointed tip tweezer to help me along the way to get those deeply embedded lint particles that are tangled in his hair strands. So to get rid of the buildup, I will be using both the tweezer and my fingernails to pinch, pick and brush out any lint particles. And I will be repeating this step on each individual lock. And once again, I am only using the tweezers to get the lint that is hard to pick or brush out with my fingernails. Now when it comes to buildup, surprisingly, a lot of people tend to get this kind of buildup confused with product buildup. Now the difference between product buildup and environmental buildup such as lint is that product buildup is due to using heavy products that contains ingredients such as silicones which are synthetic compounds derived from sand and mineral oils otherwise known as petroleum or other heavy oils found in the earth's crust which leaves a heavy residue on the hair causing the hair to become dull, dry and eventually loses its ability to look healthy and thrive. Now environmental buildup on the other hand is due to loose particles getting caught in the hairs of your locks and when not removed it becomes tangled embedding itself on the surface and sometimes deep within the locks. However, to remove product buildup such as silicones and mineral oils, you would find yourself having to reach for anti-residue shampoos, sulfate-based products and or clarifying shampoos, which is not recommended to be used often simply because these products are quite harsh for the hair strands causing it to dry out further. Whilst removing environmental buildup, this requires spending quality time going through your individual locks, giving it some well-deserved TLC whilst removing the offenders that have your locks looking unkempt. So as a quick tip to determine whether you are dealing with product buildup versus environmental buildup is that product buildup tend to leave the hair or locks looking dull, dry and often leads to breakage as well as your hair may not react well with other products while environmental buildup can physically be removed using the appropriate tools such as a comb or tweezers. Thank you. 
However, it is key to note that products such as gels, wax, oils, butters, etc. can cause environmental particles to become trapped in the locks because they hold onto these particles causing them to further attach themselves deeply within the formation of the locks. So it doesn't matter what products you use, it will still attract lint. And to be honest, I did not remove all the lint from all his locks in one sitting. This took some time. Now as for removing the lint from this individual lock, it took me roughly 18 minutes. However, following this, I performed an ACV soak to rid his locks of any loose dirt that was sitting on the surface of his locks, followed by a thorough wash day session, which I will be sharing in a future video. Now, if you found today's video very helpful, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, I will be right back here with another video.